Hey everyone, welcome to Kinda TV, the home of Carmilla. I'm your host and the actress who plays Carmilla in the Carmilla series and Carmilla movie, which you can find out more about at carmillamovie.com in the link in the description below. That's right, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Natasha. Or sometimes not so friendly depending on the day. So now as we await the premiere of the movie, we are taking a little trip down memory lane and in today's video, I was asked to re-watch my very first Carmilla interview and my very first red carpet interview, which I have not watched since they came out, so I am pretty nervous about it. I'm sure it's gonna feel really weird and be embarrassing, but uh, that's okay. What better way to get over your nerves than to uh, share your embarrassing moments with thousands of people on the internet? <sighs> oh my god, so much dog hair on everything. We are shooting this in my home. I don't know if you can see like the thin layer of dog hair on uh, on everything. Hopefully you can't. <laughs> and if you can't, I just gave it away. <laughs> so the first EPK interview I did for Carmilla was actually with my lovely, lovely co-star, Elise Bauman. Can you go first? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, for starters, what a troll. Like I like how she was like, do you wanna go first? And I was just like, no. Just love to mix it up and be so sassy. Also, I was growing out bangs at that time in my life, so they're like a little long. And I also had this weird like blonde streak that I decided was a good idea. And then I tried to cover it over it brown uh, when we shot Carmilla and it obviously didn't work out super well. Uh, hi, I'm Elise Bauman and I play Laura Hollis. I'm Natasha Negovenlis and I play Carmilla Kernstein. Kernstein? Kernstein? I don't even know what I'm How do you say your last name? Negovenlis. No. What a real word. <clears throat> First off, super shy. Like, I'm so, I'm so shy. It's so funny. Uh, I, I seem so much more reserved. I was definitely like a little more poised and quiet. Boy, has that changed! Don't leave me. Here, I'll start. I'll start us off. I'm a bit about Carmilla, but I, I think I am. I'm less rebellious than her. I definitely have some Laura qualities in real life. I'm certainly. Wow. I'm and I'm a little less angry than Carmilla. I think I'm, I'm like a little more feminine. But yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah. This is really bad. Like false eyelashes on for some reason. I think because we had just come from a photo shoot and. <laughs> then we shot this outside and it was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa this is I not good. For oh boy. As well, which I yeah. Was um, not much of a stretch. Nobody okay. was surprised. Um, so yeah, so I would say that I I have qualities of both of them in me for sure. Um, Did Elise just say she was both a Carmilla and a Laura? A little bit. And I'm more organized than Carmilla is. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very OCD in real life. Louis, Louise. But I, no, I'm just kidding. My, but I think the Carmel oh and Laura gosh. are more similar than people think they are. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Already finishing off each other's sentences. So weird. Extended onset interview. Here we go. I saw the breakdown for the show in my email, and I was like, Lesbian vampire? Yeah, absolutely. It's true. Because um, I just think the opportunity to play a character who's lived for 300 years is something you don't get to yep. do very often. I say the same answer even in interviews today. It's such it's just such a gift. A gift. Yeah. Yeah. To have that. I even said it there. It takes so much. Wow, history. I need to come up with some new answers. And no, it's I like the, same. The, the cast and the truth. Really and like as I was reading it, I was actually like, and like I could like picture in my head like, what was going on, um, and so I I was like immediately like drawn into the world of it and um, I was excited to like watch it and so we look like little babies I also feel like I hadn't had coffee yet that day because I do remember <laughs> yeah, we so went like straight to a photo there, shoot and I thought there'd be coffee and there wasn't coffee any brushes with the paranormal um, have I ever had an experience with the paranormal um, I have not, but I'm still pretty convinced that Harry Potter's real. <laughs> I played a lot of imaginary games when I was a child. I also like that we like move closer together throughout the I period of the interview. Feel you it's, like, judging me right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's so weird watching this. I don't planes are not real things. It has to be magic. 
and computers. <laughs> oh, think about it. It doesn't make okay. sense that <laughs> science is a thing. I think it's only magic. <laughs> Still to this day, I sometimes have no comment. This is magic. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then, of course, we had our very first red carpet interview at the Canadian International Television Festival. Uh, and that was really funny because I remember actually looking down at the red carpet uh, when they asked, like, is this your first red carpet? And I had to, like, look down to be like, is this real life? Like, oh, yeah, I guess this is red. That was wild, though. The show had only been out for like a couple of months, I think, and we signed autographs for like three hours and it was wild. And I think that's when I really realized that we were part of something so, so much bigger. I'm joined by the cast of Carmilla. Welcome to the second annual <laughs> Canadian International Television Festival. What is it like to be here on the red carpet celebrating your oh, series? Sharon. She's like so tall. So it's, yeah. it's great. It's yeah. really great. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Very excited. Definitely. Yeah. So excited. Yeah. Is yeah. this your first time on a red carpet? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yay. I like that Elise and I both look down at the same time. It yep, Make it the is. Out of it. It's so funny because like back then we weren't really trained on how to answer questions as a group collectively. Like now we kind of realize that it's like we'll collectively as a group be like, okay, you know, we'll each sort of take one question so that it's not the entire cast, like, you know, answering the same question. I like how we're all like, eh, are we friends? <laughs> No, we definitely were, but I remember we like all barely knew each other back then. Like we had only known each other for a few months and had only shot together for four days. So really it was like so new for us and it was really interesting to be doing an interview at that time. Now we're all like old friends and all know each other super, super well, uh, which I think really translates in the movie as well. And I'm so excited to share it with all of you. Um, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, you can pre-order the movie uh, as well at carmillamovie.com on VHX, but also it'll be released in the fall. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more reaction videos or Carmilla rewatches with myself or, or anyone else from the cast, uh, leave me a comment below and let me know. Also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we will be sharing a ton of Carmilla additional content and behind the scenes looks uh, as we come closer to the date of the movie. That's it. Keep it kind of classy. Bye. I like how I said I used to be awkward and clearly I still am because I just don't know what to do with my hands. Like I'm just doing this. It's like, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.